we taught ourselves. Of course, the horses were tame. And that's the only way you get to go to town in the summer. In the winter, you on skis. My grandfather, Herman Carmen, was born in March of 1925. I've always wanted to do a painting based on one of his stories or memories. And most of those stories and memories are about being a medic in World War II. As a teenager, he was drafted and told, you have to leave your family, you have to go train, and you have to go fight this war. It's very important. So he did. He was stationed in the South Pacific and he was there for four years. I couldn't imagine not only having to leave your family and go somewhere so different than your home, but as a teenager having to go fight a war and have to try to save your friends on the battlefield. It's something that I don't think anyone who's never been there can understand. So how, did, how do you win the Bronze Star? I tried to save a guy's life and uh, I had to run into enemy territory to get him and uh, he was a big man, of course he was in our outfit and I told him, I said you're in bad shape and I can't do a thing right here. I got the bleeding stop but, uh, but I said I won't leave without you and we'll die together. And that woman spoke up. It's time to make your move. No, the one I patch with a, a piece of a tree and, uh, and then d uh, damp dirt over that, la that uh, leaf and I thought, oh my God, he'll never live. And the war was over and I was in Japan and, uh, and I tried to find a place I could take a bath. And so uh, Fuller told me, oh, there's one right out here uh, you walk through. But today you're going to run through because it's cold. <laughs> yeah, and I uh, started through that and the guy bat me on the back. And I felt, what the hell? <laughs> I turned around and the first thing I saw, saw was that bullet hole. Yeah. And he told me how the doctors cursed uh, me. They didn't know me, but oh, they were mad the way I tied him up. And another doctor come out, he said, and uh, said, if you ever met me, ask him where in hell did he get that idea? <laughs> <laughs> but he said, if he didn't do it that way, he would have never lived. It was hard for me to decide what story or memory I should use for this painting. I wanted to show my grandfather standing on his property, looking back through time, at himself, at one of those stories or memories. And I wanted the memory or story to be a positive one. I wanted it to make me smile while I painted it. And there was this one story that stood out to me. He has so many amazing stories and memories, but there's this one that always makes me smile. And that's when he was drafted and went to basic training, they trained on horses. But when he first got there, he told them, he had no idea how to ride a horse. And that wasn't quite true. He had been riding horses his entire life. And I went to Kansas they sh uh, uh, for training, and that was all on horseback. I was uh, small, and, uh, and 
an officer come to me and he said, can you ride a horse? I said, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, Jesus, he said, how come you learn so quick? And I said, I got a good trainer. <laughs> I can't say that, I asked him, boy, <laughs> I had a friend. That was a lot of fun uh, in the cavalry, you know, learning to ride the horse and stuff. Then we went to war, we didn't get no horse. Yeah, it was a strain to that horse. He was supposed to jump it, but he snubbed it, and uh, I jumped it. <laughs> <laughs> but I hung on to my rein, though, because if, uh, if you lost your horse, you had to, they'd get it for you, and you'd carry it back to uh, the barn there. And, uh, <laughs> You had to carry the saddle on your back. <laughs> so, yeah, the last day, uh, not so course, I let my horse go. Jesus, he said, how come you learn so quick? <laughs> <laughs> I said, how do you feel? Uh, any parts were missing? He said, no, I feel great. He said, never felt better in my life. And I said, uh, I think we're dead. Yeah. My God, he said, don't it feel good to be dead? <laughs> <laughs> and we was talking foolish like that. And uh, the house next door to the building, that blew up. I said, I don't think we're dead. Oh, Jesus. He said, ain't that too bad. <laughs> <laughs> we were so happy to be dead. Mm -hmm.